Hi guys, welcome to Scotsman in Bulgaria. Um, today I'm joined by my wife Carlene, who has her own channel, Everyday Dukan Unhealthy Eating. Now today we're going to make um, our wonderful um, zucchini pickle, which is a, um, a kind of sweet and sour kind of uh, type thing. And it's an all-rounder, you can use it for lots of things in salads, with meat, and uh, yeah, a whole range of things. And um, Carlene today is going to show us how to make it, and um, uh, hopefully maybe you can make it yourselves as well. So, well, the, um, further ado, we'll get Carlene to show you how it's going to be made. Enjoy the video. So let me quickly show you what you're going to need for your zucchini pickles. First of all, you're going to need some zucchini. So these are from our garden. Um, you can use any type you like. Um, I like mixing the dark skin and the light skin together because you'll see in the bottle, it just looks pretty when there's a little bit of a mixture in there, but you can use any zucchini you like. If you've got these patty pans like these, you can also use them. So basically, I cut them all the same thickness so that they cook the same time. Then you're going to be needing some onions, enough so that when they are peeled and sliced, you need a cupful of onions. Then you're also going to be needing some sea salt, some coarse salt, and um, you can use canning salt or just normal sea salt. You're also going to need some vinegar, three cups of vinegar, and today I'm using sweetener, but you can also use regular caster sugar for this recipe, same quantities. I'm also using a little bit of mustard seeds, yellow mustard seeds, and a bit of turmeric for that beautiful color. You can, of course, add other spices if you like. So let me show you how I'm going to be cutting the zucchini. So what you're looking for is slices about a half a centimeter thick. If it's quite a small zucchini, you can leave them, otherwise you can cut them in half. If you've got a really large zucchini like this one, I would quarter it or even put it in eight wedges. And I will just slice all the zucchini up and weigh that out. You'll get all the quantities on the description of the video. And also remember for this recipe, you need to get yourself a nice bag of ice. You're going to need at least one kilogram of ice. So we will be back in a short while. I'll just cut up the zucchini and then show you what to do with it. All right, so I've cut all these guys about half a centimeter thick, green ones, dark ones, light ones, it's a nice mix. Then I have a third of a cup of that sea salt, the coarse sea salt. I just sprinkle that on top here. There we go. And then I've chopped up two kind of medium sized onions. When you measure it out, it's a little bit more than a cup full of sliced onions. Also nice and thick, the same as your courgette. It's not too thin, because otherwise they kind of just break up in the cooking process. This way they actually hold a bit better. So you can try and separate the onions a bit and then try and mix that salt through the courgettes. Because the salt is now going to draw a bit of the water out of the courgette and we're going to leave this um, standing for two hours with some ice so all that salt will basically go into the melted ice water and will be poured away so don't worry that you're going to have a very salty pickle it's not salty at all it's actually just drawing out the moisture Okay, so you just make sure it's nicely mixed and then I'll bring the ice. I've just got shop bought ice, but you can make your own if you want. Roughly about one kilo of ice. Um, 
all you're really wanting is to cover the surface of the zucchini and then I just put a clean tea towel over it and that will just stand on the kitchen counter for two hours you could also leave it in the fridge but it will take a bit longer so after this we will be back to show you how to cook them okay guys so it's been about two hours now these zucchini pickles have been in the salt and the ice here so let's have a look here you'll see it's basically covered in ice water now so these ones i'm going to rinse in cold water and drain them so i'll just put them aside here and then i'll show you what i've been doing here i have put a big pot of water on with my jars they're just busy sterilizing in there and what I'm going to do now I'm going to move them to the back burner here and I'm going to add my lids now because the lids only need to boil for about five minutes so these are brand new lids always make sure your lids are not damaged so I put them back on there put this back on so I'll boil the lids another five minutes and then you find yourself a nice big saucepan and now we're going to make the pickling juice so we need three cups of vinegar you can use any vinegar you like and then I'm going to add the sweetener there we go or if you use caster sugar this is when you add it and then I have two tablespoons of mustard seeds and I have one teaspoon of turmeric just for color and a bit of flavor and you just basically now stir it with a spoon or a whisk until it has dissolved over a medium heat and then we will bring it to the boil and we will add our zucchini and onion Let me show you here. The other one is still boiling with the lids in there. It literally takes one or two minutes. I'll just leave that now. Let me show you the pickles here. I put my colander in a bowl drain off that salty water and the ice and the ice water there we go and then with cold water I rinse the pickles let's lift this up discard the water and now we can wash them properly in here take the ice cubes out we go sometimes the ice haven't melted completely other times it has so here we go I keep them a little squeeze before I put them in the colander there we go we go so these are ready now to go into our pickling juice let's see how the pickling juice is looking let's give it a little stir 
It's nearly dissolved, so we'll give that a few more seconds. You see it's nearly boiling. There we go. So once it's dissolved, you can just check the base there. You can turn the heat up so it boils. So it's boiling now. We're going to add our pickles. So I just literally put them in there. There we go. What you need to do is make sure that they are almost all covered by the liquid. The top layer is maybe not going to be covered, but most of them sitting in the liquid, so just flatten out the surface a bit. Now I don't have a big enough lid to cover my pan, so I'm going to put some foil over it to act like a lid. And then we're going to wait two or three minutes till it boils, and then we'll simmer it for 10 minutes. You don't want to overcook them. So here we go. I'll leave that on high for maybe three minutes and then on low for 10 minutes and we'll come back to them. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. Let's have a look here, our pickles. So what you're basically looking for is only, only just cooked. It still needs to be having a little bit of a bite to it. So I'll switch that off now. We can give it a little stir. There we go. It looks lovely. And you'll notice that I've, I've not peeled them and left the pips in and everything. So you've got the whole vegetable, so they're very healthy for you. Now let's have a look at our jars here. There we go. So I'll take one of the jars out. Show you. Pour the water out. Here we go. I just normally hold it with a little cloth, but there's different ways to do it. You can also find yourself a little colander. Now what I'm going to do is just spoon the pickles in. So you've got a nice hot jar. You've got hot pickles, hot syrup, and we're going to close them while they are nice and hot and put them back in the water bath. So what I do is I press them down a bit, compact them slightly. There we go. And you only fill them to one centimeter of the top. Now I'm going to fill them up with a little bit of liquid. Just normally take a ladle. Here we go. And that one is ready now. We'll get the lid for that one. There we go. Nice and hot. And you can also add a bay leaf at this stage, or you can put it in, in the base of your jar. And the bay leaf is to keep your pickles nice and crisp. So I'm just going to close this jar. So there's different ways of doing this. They say just to close the jar tight, but not too tight. And this will go back into the water bath now. So I'll do all of them and then we'll put them in the hot boiling water for 10 minutes. And then we'll show you what they look like when they come out. Okay, so these guys have been boiling for 10 minutes now and they were covered by at least two inches of water above the lid. So I'm going to take them out now. And I'm going to put them upside down on their lids. So while they're boiling, they should form a seal. But if you leave them standing like this for 12 hours, um, I find often that if there was a weak seal, it actually helps. 
So this way I keep my pickles for at least a year or even longer in a nice cool dark place like a cellar or pantry. You can of course have them in your fridge as well. Here we go. So I've made seven jars and each jar is 314 milliliters. So it gives you an idea of the size. Of course you can make a half a batch if you don't have very big saucepans. There we are and we'll quickly show you how we can serve it. All right guys, it's Scotsman in Bulgaria here. A big thank you to Carlene for showing us how to make the, um, the pickle. And here is an example of um, how you present the pickle on our plate. So we have um, basically our lunch here ready. So we have our pickle with the, some of the brawn and some salami and cheese. This is just a small example. But to, um, yeah, you can have this pickle with anything because it is so tasty, nice and crisp, it's fresh. And uh, we, we absolutely love it. Right guys, that's the end of this video in our kitchen today. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and leave a comment. And please share our, um, the video if you like it. And uh, um, we'll see you next time on, the, on our channel. Cheers. Bye. Bye.